Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can zoom in on any photo up to five times using this Adobe Photoshop Neuro Filter called Super Zoom. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, which is a perfect marketplace for anyone who uses Photoshop or Premiere Pro. There are millions of different templates you can use in your projects. Some of my favorite are the Photoshop actions that help speed up my workflow. You get access to millions of templates for a small monthly fee. So if you wanna check that out, make sure to click the link in the description. So right here, we have a perfect photo because it's super far away. I wanna zoom up on the upper half of his body, but I don't wanna lose any quality. So using Photoshop's AI, which are under their neural filters, under filter neural filters. There is an option called super zoom. And so super zoom is able to zoom up up to five times and it's under the featured filters. So you just want to toggle it on and you want to essentially zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in four times. And basically this preview you see here is what it's going to look like on here. So just make sure you crop it right here. You can add things like sharpen and noise reduction, and then you can also enhance face details. The reason there's this option is because some people might want to use this more as a replacement for macro photography. Uh, for example, if they want to zoom up on like a flower and keep the detail uh, and not necessarily a face. I also noticed that it takes a little bit of time to actually process. So if you do four times or five times zoom, it might take a little bit of time and it does take a lot of RAM to run this. So for my test, I'm using an Apple Mac mini M1. For anything four times or five times zoom, it takes around 10 minutes, but anything two times zoom probably takes one to two minutes. So the discrepancy is really big. And sometimes when I do five times, there is an error and I'm not actually able to apply this filter. And in the bottom left here, you can see that there's this little tab that says processing on device. And this gives you a little estimation of how long this will take. So once it's done processing, you'll see that this OK button is now blue. And you can also output it to a new layer or a new document, new layer being a new layer within this document and a new document meaning like a new project we're going to press new layer here and we're going to press ok so right here you can see it's actually pretty sharp and it looks like we actually took the photo as this it doesn't look like we cropped in from super far away so you can see it retained a lot of the detail and it's actually quite sharp but yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're a student or a teacher, you can get over 60% off all Adobe applications if you check the link in the description. But other than that, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.